Hey, g'day, and welcome back to another episode or a Let's Play of uh, Ostriv. In the last episode, we just set up, ready for the first uh, first winter. Um, it is December. We were able to set up our nine houses, um, as well as obviously our clay, our forestry, and our thatching. In this episode, um, we're going to survive another year. Uh, so what we need to do there is is obviously start setting up our food um, in order to make sure that we can um, start attracting more more people, more citizens, as we start building the um, uh, the village and expanding it. So let's get straight into it. Okay, welcome back, let's go. So last time we'd already set the encampment for our farm, um, our market, and our fishing. Um, so we're just gonna speed those up now, and uh, we'll let those, those build. So we do have a couple of things here that are still here. We've got the markets that we've actually built. We've got the camp storage, which is holding the, uh, the nails. Um, and we've got our camp center with our mayor that's living in the, in the tent itself. So not of urgency, um, but those are easily replaced. So um, we do have the warehouse that would replace the, uh, the camp storage. Um, granary and hay barracks is what we'll use a little bit later. Um, and then if we go here, we've got a government building where we can actually put in the, uh, the mayor uh, when required. But we'll let them focus on these buildings first, uh, and then we'll look at some of the others. So the other things that we may or we will look at is we'll need to sort of place a few windmills, and that would be for our wheat. Um, we then will actually start looking at things like chicken coops, and cow sheds. Now what we tend to potentially do is we will build these, um, but we may not use them for a while whilst we wait on um, visitors uh, to come and say that they wanna openly trade with us. Um, my priority would be to, to start off with is trying to get some chickens, and that means we would have chicken eggs, chicken meat, fish, and wheat or flour uh, as food. So. Uh, um, I'm not sure on Alpha 1 Patch 7 if a variety of food gives you better citizens um, as some city builders go. Like as, as you put in more variety of food, it actually um, impacts. But I think it would potentially be something in a later game version, especially when you're coming with education and things like that. If, you, if they're just living on uh, vegetables or flour, uh, versus if they're getting a variety of different types of meat. Um, but we'll let those keep building. So we've got our boat uh, boat shed, as we said that we have here. Um, we also have our smithy um, that we want to work on there. So we've got a couple of things actually working on at the moment. What I will do is I will speed it up and I will come back once uh, a few of these are built. Okay, welcome back. Um, we got the boat shed built. This stage here, you can employ a worker. It is only a male option uh, to actually employ the worker. I'm not gonna be take the worker at the moment um, because there's no sense in having anyone in the boat yard if there's no requirements to build a boat. So once we've actually built the, uh, the fishing docks, then we, we can request a, uh, a boat. Um, and then I can employ someone. I find with the boat yard, I actually employ them, fire them, employ them, fire them, because they just sit around and do nothing. Well, they sit around and get paid. Um, so I might as well have them doing something like uh, lugging um, crops or stuff around rather than just sitting in a boat shed waiting for someone to, to order. So just have a look at some of the, um, uh, so I mean, I use the thatching as a perfect example. This person's getting paid, um, but he's taking a rest. Um, because I'm not building any more houses at the moment. Um, so it's actually going to just sort of sit there. Um, I have put an order in for two more houses. Um, and that will just mean is as soon as I get a vacancy, those houses will be filled. So it'll also tell me when the town is actually ready itself. Um, this one I will put on pause because I don't 
actually needed as a priority. I do want to do some of the other yards. But the other thing that came in, and that's why I've sort of uh, popped back, is also the, the farm. So just letting you know how the actual farms work. First of all, you've got your higher option. You can allow both male and female. So in this case here, I'm gonna uh, click off the male and just have female employees. Um, so I will employ a female and I will employ a manager. Um, uh, and they will both be in there as well. Now you've got the bit at the bout where you can order a plow. You can start a farm without having a plow. So what are we stalled here? We've got no nails. Uh, we are waiting for our smithy. Mm, okay, let's uh, build the smithy and then we'll get our nails. Um, we can keep going at a normal pace. Uh, so, but what we want to do is we want to actually start building our farms. Now, they're, obviously they're not going to work on the farms. By not ploughing means that you will, I understand is your, uh, your crops will not yield the best, but you can still do a couple of seasons until you get your plough. Um, and then you can start ploughing your fields. Now, to, in order to acquire a plough or to order a plough, you need to have a carpenter and you need to have two ox. To have two ox, you need to have a cow. Uh, so you need a carpentry workshop and you need a cow shed um, and you need a market. So what you need to do is you need to have your market. You need to establish trade with a town that sells oxes you need to buy two oxes and put them in the cow shed, um, and then you need to make the plough through your carpentry. Um, but what I will do is, um, we won't get to that in this video, um, but I can do a more detailed video, best probably on food production or something, and that will show the, uh, the process of getting your, your ox and your plough up. Okay, so let's get our field. So with your fields, simply click on your field, um, where you start the field is the entry. The fields actually have a gate, which I think is a little bit silly, um, but it is where the entry of your uh, field is. So in this case here, that will be the front door, and then we can drop it that way. So that will be one. Once again, you can then mark your next field. You can connect them. That will be, you just trial and error, that will be two. Now, the green coming along is, I like the effect, that's the snow melting. Just clearly they've done it at a time when I'm trying to do the video, so it makes it a little bit harder. Um, but I think it is a nice effect. Um, next one, all right, let's go for another field. Um, and we will have a look. I'm actually just gonna pause it for a second because what will happen is they will start working on those fields. Um, so we're just gonna do this one. Mm. As you can see, not so easy, but that's right, pausing doesn't uh, kill the game. It's a little bit of a slope, and yeah, that's all right. Not exactly perfect, that's all right. So this one here, we're gonna keep as wheat, and the weeds will be fine. Um, this one I will keep as wheat, so we'll have two wheat fields. This one I'm gonna change the field to potato, um, and this one I'm gonna change it to sunflower. I am at, also at the same time gonna add uh, another field. Um, and we'll throw that here. Just leaving some areas for the people to, to run in. And this one I'm gonna do as hemp. So fallow, uh, a couple of things with your fallow fields. Uh, so let's start this one up again. Um, you'll see that with the choices that we had, um, we had a choice of uh, let's just go through. Wheat, sunflower, potato, hemp, and fallow. Um, what we have there 
is uh, the wheat obviously you convert into flour so there's no bread it's just wheat into flour uh, the sunflower will make sunflower oil uh, which you can either sell at the local market or you can export um, potato same thing you can either export potatoes um, or sell it at the local market hemp um, either export it or turn the hemp into textiles with fallow it means you're leaving the fields um, to actually uh, potentially um, uh, I guess rest so it will allow the um, uh, allow the crops to actually get uh, better for the following season or the following year now the other way you can do it so you don't have to keep on micromanaging is where you've got the plus button you can literally hit the plus and then say that you actually want to have it as a, a fallow field um, uh, and that way you're you know perhaps alternating so one year is going to be wheat the next year is going to be fallow what you can also do is when you put your cows to pasture you can choose um, if you want your cows to pasture on a fallow field uh, either that or you just build a pasture itself um, if you've actually uh, aligned so one thing that I could potentially do um, let's say with this field here is I could go fallow this year uh, and then I can go wheat the year after so when looking at it if I look at it uh, I've now swapped these over so it means that I've always got a, uh, a fallow field so what we don't have we do we do have our workers on our farm um, and we've got our higher option um, so we are good to do so that should they should jump in um, and I last thing I need to do is actually activate the uh, the fields matron you're a goose so once you've activated the fields as you can see now and we've missed out maybe half of March because um, I buggered up there but what they do do is they will hire all the citizens that are not currently employed and they will help in the field so you can see all the citizens there all there sowing the crops and you will see the fields now start taking shape all right so whilst we've been doing that a couple of things have happened um, we've finished our smithy so let's hire a smithy um, with the smithy it probably goes without saying they only allow male workers with the smithy the smithy will then make the nails the nails will then stop the uh, the actual fishing dock uh, as it is uh, from uh, the fishing dock from being stalled um, we've also got a village house that's stalled and that's stalled because we can't find nails so once we get the smithy going um, we find that he should we should get a smithy straight away probably because they've been employed in the field but as soon as they're off the field we'll be right next thing we want to do is now set up our markets so we can choose we will be doing potato um, we will do flour and we will do fish and that is all we'll have probably for this year the other one that we do need is firewood um, so let's employ our worker once again you've got male and female so I will just choose females and I'll hire a, a worker the important one here is the firewood so as we start coming into the winter um, you can see here that uh, 0.55 what I do like about this is it's all low numbers um, and uh, it I find that it does help rather than just having crazy numbers like they need to have 50 firewood and so forth so they're talking like fractions um, I guess it's fractions of weight maybe or it's just a percentage um, but everyone is actually quite good at the moment we don't have food on sale and we don't have uh, housing not a problem I as I said if you plan that you're not taking on any new citizens for the first two years um, I think that's a it's a fairly safe bet. so the crops are actually in the fields should be planted you can click on the field and actually see that we've got everything's been sown now we're just in a growth cycle that one we left fallow um, and these are all in the in a growth cycle You can see our docks are back up and running. 
as uh, the smithy now should be obviously in a very high demand um, but the smithy is is now pumping out nails what we might do is actually raise it up and actually have a second smithy just until we get a, a few nails up and running once again it's capped at a thousand and the, we, we've used basically a thousand nails to build the entire town so far so um, There we go, we've got two smithies. We'll start pumping out nails fairly quickly now. So coming into April, so what we should be able to get is we'll get one crop rotation. Um, I think for demonstration purposes, we've left one fallow. I think for your own personal build, unless maybe you have three fields or more, um, you probably want to have more wheat uh, to start off with, uh, so there's probably real no, there's no real need, I should say, to um, you, you probably want a, a couple more crops. Now I think in my last build I probably had uh, round about eight fields, and I was able to look after eight fields with two workers, and then just bring the employees from the town. Um, uh, I did actually then have an oxen cart in there as well, so that's probably also made a difference. Um, we'll start now looking at some other um, potential buildings. We will build a chicken. Can we do it with that one? We can. Still want to focus on the market though. The other one that I'd probably suggest as well is whilst you're actually starting to build the farms and so forth, what I found is I then started to run a little bit short of water. So it wouldn't go astray just near your farm and your chicken coop and that is also um, grab some water. I think the big sucker of water is the tannery uh, when you start going into um, more advanced sort of development. Um, but it doesn't hurt to have the farm sort of have its own independent water source. Okay, we will uh, we will speed it up. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drop down the construction of a cow shed. Um, we've got cattle there. We've got the market here. I want to leave this here because I'm going to do some buildings around there. Um, just looking for an area where we can put a cow shed, and I think I'm just going to place it. You know what? I'm going to place it just over here because for this game, we don't have a lot of other. Um, uh, a lot of other things that we're building uh, behind it so I'm just going to drop it here just try and get some even ground it's all right and the other thing we're going to do is actually start building our mayor's office because she's still living in a tent, or he's still in a tent. Um, so let's have our mayor's office right at the end of the road here. Um, and I've just seen the fishing docks is fine, so there's a nice place for the mayor's office. Right there. All right, let's have a look at the fishing. So we want to try and get that one up and running. So let's hire a couple of workers. Once again, male only. Um, we're going to hire a worker, but we need to order a boat. So then we need to hire a worker in your boat shed um, to actually build. Now. So even if you hired the worker in the boat shed, 
um, months ago, he's not going to do anything. He won't just build a boat and have it, the boat sitting there. Uh, he will just sit there, as I said, and get paid uh, waiting. So we've now got someone um, in the boat shed. He's gone to get some wood. Um, the fisherman is actually sitting or, or waiting to come up. Now with the fish, you've got two choices of fish. You've actually got um, a fresh fish and you've got dried fish. In order to dry your fish, you need to, you, you need to dry them with salt. Now salt uh, is not available where you've settled, so you need to actually acquire salt from another village just through your marketplace and that will allow you to dry the, the fish. Okay, so you can see the fields are actually taking shape now. So obviously our wheat field, our potato field, our sunflowers, our fallowed field, and our hemp field. Alright, still got no food for sale, it's because our food is going to be these two things here. Once they, they come off, uh, we will have our food. The other thing that we want to do is our, uh, our windmill. So we can very nicely fit in a windmill here. It doesn't get blocked by the trees or anything like that. You just need to find an area where you can drop that little circle. Because of all the, uh, the trade and the transport, we're now also going to look for a place to the drop the granary, which is where we're actually going to um, have our food, which is coming off of the farm. So let's rotate this, because that's the front, and we'll drop our granary there. Um, individuals will not buy directly from the granary. It is simply a storage center. So the food is going to go from the farm from the fields into the farm, from the farm into the granary, and then from the granary to the markets. Um, so the only market I've got at the moment is here, but the granary will also go to the, uh, whoops, sorry, to the trading post if I'm selling the food itself. So I've sort of put it central to the town center um, and to here. Uh, the other thing that we've actually got um, is the warehouse. The warehouse is for your non-food storage, such as your nails, your wood, if you actually want to put items in there. Um, your hay barrack um, is, as it sounds, is for collecting hay, um, but we will do that once we fit, uh, finish our cow shed. I will show you that. Okay, so we've got a couple of things on the build at the moment. Uh, the fields, if I click on them, almost ready for harvesting. Uh, so we will keep going through. It's August, we'll go through, and we will be back uh, either when the fields are ready for harvesting, um, or with our chicken shed or our chook shed is, uh, or cow shed is, is up for the take. Let's have a look. Um, still looking here. Oh, we've got ourselves a boat. So we're just after our, uh, our fishermen. That's all right, we should get a fisherman soon. All right, we'll be back. Uh, no, we won't. That's the beauty of actually being on uh, fast pace. So um, as you can see here, now we've come into harvesting time. The same thing, it's taken all the available uh, options. So under the hire, under the laborers, I'm taking male and female, so it's not just a case that I'm only getting, um, uh, so I've got female permanent workers, but when labor is any available citizen in town, um, at the time of harvest or at the time of sowing, will be made available to make sure that the, uh, the fields are sown and the fields are harvested, which is what's happening here now. So they'll actually harvest and put them in bundles, uh, and then they will come and actually collect the bundles themselves. All right, let's speed that up again. All right, welcome back. Um, so what's happened since we've been away? We've uh, collected 
uh, all the, uh, I guess, the harvest of the fields. And the fields will now remain empty for the rest of the year at September, uh, coming in through around about March, then they'll start uh, not plowing because I don't have a plow again, but they will sow the seeds into the next one. Um, the market is completed, but we'll come back to the market. Um, we can see now that we've actually got our fisherman out there just rowing away as he's collecting the, the fish. Now, I was still having problems actually employing a fisherman, so what I did, um, I first of all, I fired my uh, boat yard. Um, nails is now up to 480, so I fi fired one of my um, workers in the smithy um, because I think one will certainly for the size of this town will keep it more self-sufficient once again they do not have repair and maintenance so once you've built something then that's basically the limitation of your um, your nails uh, so to speak uh, obviously we've got our granary being built there we do need to what do we got here we got a granary we probably do need to look at a bit of a warehouse and probably the warehouse um, uh, cow yards there we'll just put our warehouse over here which will be more than fine already a nice little road there uh, and that will be fine for that one there uh, the next thing we've got that's being built um, is our our trading post so with our trading post um, it allows us to export stock um, and what I mean is you can actually place what you want to to sell so to start off with I would like to sell sunflowers um, and everything is in small quantities so we're only going to have a stockpile of about 10 um, there's nothing else here maybe some potato but a small amount and maybe some hemp but only a small amount and this is actually, I'm not going to do the potato um, they won't come and actually buy it so don't don't worry about placing those totals and then suddenly traders come in and actually take your stock you still have to go through a manual process at the moment um, to do those stock the next thing we want to do is we want to hire a worker it is obviously male only well I won't say obviously um, but it is male only and then hire a manager by hiring a manager it will allow you to trade with other towns now there's two ways to do it you can sit and wait for a little horse to appear and we will get horses to appear or the second one is you can go to the world map and you can send out if I click on it oh sorry we will wait for a trade manager to appear then when you click on it you get given an op uh, an option to send a messenger to that town so you can request certain um, certain things um, now the towns are fixed um, so only certain towns will sell and buy certain items uh, when you're in those towns as well so that's okay let's um, speed it up and let's uh, build the others so what we actually want to now is we want the cow shed to sort of come up and we want the chook shed once we've got the chook shed and the cow shed um, we will be humming to get to the end of the year. So this has actually been quite a good um, good year too. Um, we're not, and we might actually have um, potato and wood. What do we got here? We still don't have enough food for sale, um, but we expected that. A chicken coop. So let's go check out our chicken coop. So with our chicken coop, um, currently we don't have any chickens which is obvious um, but we are going to change the options we'll hire women only that would be my suggestion um, and we will open it up this way she will start bringing food or fodder and food and water to prepare the chicken shed uh, for when we do so you can see her there working on the grabbing the water um, and getting things ready. She will go in here and she will grab some wheat. 
and she is getting ready for when chickens arrive. If you do not do this, and I'm talking from experience, <laughs> if you do not set up your chicken shed and get things ready, then when you order your chickens, they will die within days. Um, as much as this food will last for months, uh, three water and three wheat, which I think is the limit that it stocks. Um, but if you have zero, they die. They die immediately. Uh, all right, do we have a manager? We have a manager. Okay, so with the manager, and we're gonna send this first one out. We're gonna go to here, and we're gonna send a messenger. Um, we will wait for that messenger to arrive. Hopefully, that's the town that sells chickens. Uh, so now they're unloading goods and you can actually see the sunflowers and the hemp actually are loading there. All right, there we go. We've got our uh, messenger, the little horses in there, our messengers arrived. We can click on the messenger. Uh and this town offers cows, um, but it does accept potatoes. So that's all right. Made a little bit of a mistake. I don't have potatoes up for, for sale. I've got six here. At this stage, I don't need currency, so I'm not gonna sell my potatoes um, at this stage in the game. What I am after is I'm after chickens. So yes, that was 30. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on this, and I'm pretty sure that it is this one. Um, so we'll head for Marifa, and we will send a messenger. A little bit costly, but yeah, the 31. We will need cows at a later date, but same thing. If I do not have um, the cow shed up and running, if I do not have the food in the cow shed, the cows will just die, so there's no uh, there's no sense in in doing it. He will stay there for six days, um, but randomly they will also send messengers to your town too. So don't uh, don't be concerned that you're spending too much money on messengers. Um, all right, messengers arrived in Murpha. So let's click on that. These guys have live chickens, wheat and hemp. They want sunflower and sunflower oil. So we'll demonstrate two things here. First of all, we'll buy some live chickens. Um, we don't need that many. We're actually only gonna get about four um, because they are chickens, but they breed like rabbits. Um, so let's, uh, let's grab ourselves four chickens. Um, we've got enough food, um, but we're also gonna sell uh, sunflower oil. So currently we have two sunflowers uh, in there, but just for the uh, the demonstration purposes, we're actually going to sell two sunflower. Uh, deal. I find that if you don't have the items in stock, um, uh, it doesn't give you an error. It doesn't tell you that you can't sell them. It just doesn't sort of follow through with the trade. Um, but it's all right. Let's uh, speed it up. Let's get those two trades in. Let's see where the um, the cart is coming from. Which direction? Um, and then that will be the end of the year. So once again, another great year. And we must be close to self-sufficiency. We have, however, dropped two citizens. I don't know how or why. Um, we dropped them. I oh, know this is the additional house, so we haven't dropped them there. Well, we have dropped one. Um, not enough food for sale, so we will fix that through. But we have noticed we have a visitor um, from Valakale. So from from here, once again. They're offering flour, cows, and iron. Now what I will do is I will just grab a little bit of iron just to have it in store. We're just gonna grab five iron. It's not overly expensive. I do, doing okay with cash. Um, 
more importantly, just to make sure that we're not going to sort of run out um, four. Uh, we still had five there, so it probably wasn't urgent. Um, but let's see where these carts are coming from. Probably coming, I guess, from that direction, I presume. We will find out shortly. Well, we've got some citizens leaving. Um, to answer the question, the carts are going to come from this direction because they come in the same direction that people are leaving from. There you go, there's our first cart. So what we can do, so we've got people leaving um, generally because we do not have enough food, um, which I'm a little bit surprised on. Um, we still have a messenger from Vo. Do we have any food? They do have flour. So we've got potato, we've got a little bit of fish. What I'm gonna do is, because the flour is actually quite inexpensive, I'm just going to get us through the winter by ordering a little bit of flour. Uh, we can make this up in a couple of years, um, so don't be concerned. Also, when your currency hits zero, it isn't the end of the game. I don't know what the limit is, um, but hopefully by having that flour, um, we'll have enough food. So we've got carts coming in now uh, with supplies. Ah, the, this one's the important one, because this one has the chickens. Once we've got the chickens, that gives us two things. It gives us chickens but, and also chicken meat. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up another stall here. Uh, market stall. So we have a little bit of a shop. And this one, it's again higher option. Make people employed. We are going to do chicken eggs and chicken meat. And let's speed that one up. It looked like, I think what happened was the numbers dropped, then uh, we saw them running away. So we didn't lose any more. We started with 23, we've lost four. So we've lost one family. Uh, a family is out of food. So you can actually click on these, so it's actually quite good um, to actually see which family that is. Um, once again, I am a little bit surprised because we've got lots of potatoes. Uh, Fishing-wise, we cannot fish during winter, so we're surviving on the uh, potatoes. But we will get the flour. Um, we've got a 10 lots of flour in here now. Uh, all right. Here we are, and two things have changed. Um, so I'm just going to slow it down. So if you remember, going back around about five minutes ago, we were down to 19 people. As soon as I ordered the flour, um, the flour, I ordered 10 flour, I've used two flour, and already not only have I got this house back, um, but all my houses are now full. So now if I'm looking at this, I do have enough food for sale. Um, flour, fish, potato and firewood, uh, chicken, eggs, and over here we've got potatoes. So maybe just the distance is a little bit far and I'm hoping once this granary set up, that will reduce the distance. Um, uh, so now it's actually sort of brought the citizens back uh, and we're certainly in a good shape. So once again, we've hit another, Christ uh, another Christmas, another winter, um, about the head of the season. Um, I'm gonna call it there. I think uh, that was a great second season or year two um, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to, to hit the like, likes, hit the subscribe if you'd like to see more of Ostruv or anything else that I'm actually doing uh, on Let's Play or other videos that I do. And please leave your comments. Would you like to see anything? Would you like me to focus on other areas? Um, or just maybe do some specialty videos on, on certain things that you may be getting stuck on.